This video is on third-party risks. There are four risks associated with the third party that you need to know for Security Plus 601 exam. First, we have vendor management. With vendor management, there are two concerns, system integration and lack of vendor support. When the solution that the vendor provides doesn't integrate with the rest of your systems for your organization or hasn't made it difficult for it to work together with the rest of its ecosystem due to technicality or regulation concerns like permission settings, that brings in risks. This is a big concern since solution is not part of the company, which means it's within its barriers. Then we have lack of vendor support concerns. Whenever you pay for something but runs into a lot of troubleshooting with no help is the last thing that you want. Picking the right vendor is important. Remember, you get what you pay for. There were many instances where a company brought up risks, but the problem didn't get fixed in a timely manner. Next, we have supply chain risk. Because there are multiple phases involved in developing a solution, you need a reliable company that has processes and procedures in place to monitor security aspects throughout the supply chain and be able to react to any type of security concerns that arises. There are times when company leverages other companies on certain part within the supply chain for a solution in order to cut costs or make it more efficient. Or maybe the other company does it better. However, they still need to properly check up on the end product and its processes. Next, we have outsourced code development. This is when you have other companies do all or some code development. This needs to be checked frequently to ensure there's no security issues and should be isolated with VPN access in a lab-like environment. Because this is a code developed by a company that is not your own, it's worthwhile to check outsourcing code development guidelines and processes and make memorandum of agreement on how to press forward. Lastly, we have data storage. Thanks to cloud, we're saving information in separate third-party location. However, these data needs to be evaluated to ensure it's getting stored properly according to company guidelines. Data are segregated even in cloud depending on what type of data it is. There may be healthcare data or classified information that may be in public cloud when it shouldn't be. There needs to be proper security settings around the type of data that we're storing and certain storage needs encrypted pathway as well.